Hi guys, I'm Shaina and welcome back to Flatbox channel and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco Season 8. If you're new to our channel or if you just found this video somewhere, maybe you could also hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I posted a new video here about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco Season 8. And this video guys is somehow more on my personal experience for the past few days but somehow related to my review and right now i am on 81 percent progress on my review i'm done reviewing the the security threat landscape which is on section 32 on our course and i'm about to start a new section which is all about cisco device security that's on section 33 and i'm so excited to learn more about this topic and guys where are you now on our review maybe you could leave a comment on the comment section let me know where are you now and for the past few days i'm not able to concentrate on my review due to personal issues and some unexpected events so my computer got broke it has some issues and that is my struggle for the past few days i have to call or contact a technician to fix my machine it has been fixed now it is now working and that is my experience that i want to share with you which is somehow my greatest frustration in life why i am calling it my greatest frustration you know guys the moment that i started to enter the it world the first thing that i want to learn is to learn how to troubleshoot common computer issues that's why i decided back then to get a college degree which is concentrated more on computer i graduated with that course which is computer technology and i leveled it up to electronics engineering but the first thing that i really want to learn when i decided to enter that course is to learn how to troubleshoot common issues with computer hardware and software issues and that is my frustration up until now because i am getting that problem but i'm still not able to fix my own issue so here's the thing my knowledge with the network is getting broader and broader and wider since i am currently reviewing for the cisco season a but there are situations like that that is happening which make me think if this review or if this journey will be worth it in the end so what is really the problem with my computer i'm going to show you some short video clip on what happened to my um, computer it's not booting it doesn't proceed to the w windows welcome page and i found out that the issue is within the hardware or within the motherboard so it has a motherboard failure and the technician was able to fix it i also tried to fix it guys before i called the technician but unfortunately i'm not able to fix it on my own i did my best guys i searched the internet i tried to ask my colleagues on how to fix this what would be the error and what would be the possible resolution i tried all of the things that i know but it's still a failure i tried to follow different tutorials but none of it worked and because of that i can't focus on my study i can't focus on my review and i also have other issues with my other devices here i also have other machines here or spare machine that is having some mild error but i'm planning to fix later or sooner i just want to share it with you because that is the basic and common problem that we encounter especially if we are starting as a help desk most of the issues that we are handling is a common computer hardware or software issues which is a level one kind of problem you know what i mean here guys i'm trying to learn some broader or larger scope of knowledge in the world of it like this guys 
Cisco networking. But I can fix the basic thing or primary error that we encounter most of the time. That we need to be an expert with it before we go any farther with the other things in IT. And that's my greatest frustration guys because it feels like that's my goal before. That is the reason why I decided to get into the field of IT because I want to help myself in fixing those issues and I also want to help those people who is having that issues but at this point of time I'm still not good with it still I can't fix my own error through the Cisco review I'm learning how to configure switches and routers and how to configure the network but there's a part of me that I still wanted to be an expert in fixing common computer problems especially those hardware problems i know you're trying to tell me that it's a different thing network is different with computer hardware or computer software it's a different division and we are concentrating on this thing and there are some people who are concentrating on that we have a different talents we have different focus or concentration in the world of it i know what you will gonna tell me we have different fields and focus some will focus on the network some will focus on the software or app development some will focus on the hardware and you can leave other tasks with those people who are expert with that and i know it as a help desk since we are escalating random issues that we received on our department we are escalating it to its respective resolver group i know you're telling me that if i will enter cisco i have to focus on the network but there's still a some small portion in me some part of me that i still want to be an expert with computer troubleshooting there's some part of satisfaction that you can feel if you're able to fix your own computer problem it's like that before i go any further with some broader or wider knowledge in it i want to be good with the basic things and that's it that's my greatest frustration computer troubleshooting and with that i have a question for you guys as an it person or as a person who's getting or trying to get a career in it what is your greatest frustration in your career let me know on the comment section maybe you could share it with me leave your thoughts guys on the comment section i know guys in the corporate world we just need to find ourselves where we can fit in. We just need to discover on ourselves what are our strengths and weaknesses. And we need to focus on the strength. We need to play with our strengths and be more expert with that. Because our strength will lead us to the success that we are looking forward. I know in the world of IT, it's very broad there are different concentrations on different field if you're good with there are people who are good with software very knowledgeable with that there are people who are good with hardware there are people who are good in you know network app development programming and other things guys and we have weaknesses that we need to overcome that's why in the world of it what we need is to be cooperative we need to help each other and help our colleagues to be better we need to collaborate and share our thoughts and share our knowledge and thank you so much guys for those people who are collaborating with me with this season a review i'm getting tips from you and thank you so much for those who are leaving their thoughts on the comment section if this video somehow make you realize something maybe you could hit the like button and maybe you can also share this video to your colleague and at this point of time if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell and guys please don't forget to follow flagbacks on our social media account all the links to that are also on the description below and please also follow me on my linkedin account
And to my colleague who haven't uh, downloaded the Cisco Lab Exercises Guide for free, please download it now. You can download it for free. The link to that is also on the description below or somewhere in this video. Just click the link and it will direct you to the website where you can download our Cisco Lab Guide Exercises. And see you guys on my next video.